today we'll talk about what is logistic regression my name is ronak vyas and this video is a collaboration with programming knowledge to watch more videos on machine learning and programming do subscribe to the channel classification techniques are an essential part of machine learning and determining applications approximately 70% of problems in data science are classification problems there are a lot of classif classification problems that are available but the logistic regression is common and is a useful regression method for solving the binary classification problem logistic regression can be used for various classification problems such as spam detection diabetes prediction if a customer will purchase a product or not whether the user will click on a given ad link or not logistic regression is one of the most simple and commonly used machine learning algorithm for two class classification it is a statistical method to predict binary classes it its basic fundamental concepts are also used in deep learning it is a special case of linear regression where the target variable is categorical in nature it uses a log of odds as a dependent variable logistic regression predicts the probability of a binary event utilizing a logic function as we can see here we need to categorize the data in two different categories and our job is to define the line which does that now why is it called logistic regression if it's a classification mechanism contrary to popular belief logistic regression is a regression model the model builds a regression model to predict the probability that a given data entry belongs to the category numbered as 1 just like linear regression assumes that the data follows a linear function logistic regression models the data using a sigmoid function linear regression gives you a continuous output but logistic regression provides a constant output an example of continuous output would be house price prediction or stock price prediction an example of discrete output is predicting whether a patient has cancer or not or predicting whether a customer will click on an ad or not now let's modify the linear regress regression equation we had seen in the previous video for logistic regression we apply something called as a sigmoid function on the linear equ linear regression equation let's see what the sigmoid function is the sigmoid function also called the logistic function gives an s shaped curve that can take any real valued number and map it into a value between 0 and 1 if the curve goes to positive infinity y predicate predicted will be 1 and if the curve goes to negative infinity y predicted will become 0 if the output of the sigmoid function is more than 0.5 we can classify the outcome as yes or a 1 and if it is less than 0.5 we can classify it as 0 or a no for example if the output is 0.75 we can say in terms of probability as there is 75% chance that patient will suffer from cancer just like we have a cost function in linear regression we need one for logistic regression as well which has to be reduced to obtain the best fit line but the cost function used in linear regression will not work here if you try to use the linear regression cost function in a logistic regression problem you would end up with a non convex function a weirdly shaped graph with no easy way to find minimum global point hence we have a different cost function for linear regression for logistic regression the cost function is defined as minus log h of x if y equal to 1 and minus log 1 minus h of x if y equal to 0 this is the cost the algorithm pays if it predicts a value h theta of x while the actual cost label turns out to be y by using this function we will grant the convexity to the function the gradient descent algorithm has to process there is also a mathematical proof of how we get this cost function which is outside the scope of this video the final cost function can be seen at the bottom of the slide now we have the hypothesis function and the cost function and we are almost done it is now time to find the best values for our parameters in the cost function or in other words to minimize the cost function by running the gradient descent algorithm the procedure is identic identical to what we did for linear regression to understand more about gradient descent please find the link in the description which will explain linear regression and also gradient descent to minimize the cost function we have to run the gradient descent function on each parameter and that is how logistic regression works at the end we get the best parameters that 
can work with the hypothesis function to predict whether a data point belongs to one class or the other. Now, for the implementation, we can either use the scikit-learn library to import the logistic regression model and use it directly, or we can also write our own model based on the equations above. In the next video, we'll jump into the implementation using scikit-learn library and also work with the real data set. Thank you.